Joining Event Industry News is Liz Sinclair from ESP Recruitment. Um, Liz, you're here to tell us a little bit about the Eventis. What is it? So the Eventis um, has been running for five years now. It's a student competition for final year event management students. And the basis of it is at the end, they win a job. So it's very like The Apprentice. Um, no Alan Sugar, although we do have someone that's a bit like Alan Sugar on there. Um, but final year event management students get to take part in a series of tasks over three days. Um, the final five are on the last day, have to do a selection of presentations. And then at least one of them is offered a job at the end of it to start once they graduate. Uh, the event is came about uh, probably six years ago. I was exhibiting at an exhibition and we just had a constant flow of students coming up to our stand with their CVs, um, asking how they could get their job in the industry. Uh, six years ago, was in the middle of the recession, which was very tough. And really, we did, didn't really have the answer. There weren't many jobs for graduates at that time at all. So at the time, the, the Apprentice was on television. I'm a big fan. And I just thought, actually, there could be a really good way to uh, change the way the Apprentice is run for the events industry. Um, I pulled together a steering committee, got some industry involved, um, and the event was born. We got some great companies involved that wanted to offer the jobs, had to really go out there and sell the benefit of taking on a student. And uh, after the successful first year where the employer was really struggling to pick between the three finalists, in fact, he nearly wanted to take all three on. But for the first year, we narrowed it down to one. We just thought we've got a great idea here and it's grown and grown year on year from then. How significant an impact has it had on linking the academic side of things and the industry itself? It's been a great way to raise the profile of students and the quality of students that come out of university. I don't think the industry really is aware of what, you know, the, the quality of some of the candidates that come out. Some of the eventist winners have been absolutely outstanding, in fact, better than some 30k candidates I've interviewed in time. They've been proactive, they've really understood the industry um, and they've really shown it in the task. They've been very capable and I think every employer or industry professional that's been involved has always been very wowed by the quality of students and has come out with a different perception of, of the students that come out of university. Tell us what's expected and what's required of an applicant to the Aventus. Okay, so the applicants, when they decide to take part, they have to put together a two-minute video which answers three or four questions that we put to them, which is about what, and it changes every year, but last year it was why they picked event an event management degree, what they've got to offer. We asked them a few sort of slightly different questions, like to pick a song that explains the soundtrack of their life. Um, so some people have used work hard, play hard as a song and, and the Rocky theme tune, all different kinds of things. Um, and just give, giving some examples of the events that they've made them passionate about events. And that's really just a two minute video just to explain and show, show themselves. And it can be as creative as possible. And that is how we pick who we bring down to London for the finals. <clears throat> and from those videos, we pick about 15 people. Um, to come down and take part in a series of tasks over three days and the winner gets a job at the end. And what sort of jobs are we talking about here? We've had a variety of jobs last year. We were very lucky to have um, a job for someone to go and work in Dubai for a year for Daily Mail Group, which was an amazing opportunity. Um, they, they were so impressed that they ended up taking on two students and since then they've taken on a third student, for, or in fact two further students, for their London office. Uh, we've had large agencies like George P. Johnson, we've had ex exhibition companies, small agencies like Blue Hat Group. Um, it's a wide variety. And we also run the event in Dubai as well. And in Dubai, we've had some really huge companies all uh, take on students, one of which uh, the student was running the Dubai fire New Year's Eve fireworks, which was a record-breaking event. Uh, last year so they end up with some pretty good jobs at the end of it. So for any students watching, university lecturers, uh, college lecturers, um, how do they get involved with the Aventus and when does it take place? Okay, lecturers get sent the information about uh, the competition in November, October, November. Um, the students have until the first week in January to put together their two minute video, put it, send it to us, put it on YouTube, send us the link, send us a copy of their CV. Um, and the competition actually takes place on the 2nd and 3rd of March at International Confex. 
Uh, everyone should take part. Even if you don't win, you've got a fantastic opportunity to make lots of contacts, make lots of contacts within other universities, meet new people and take part in the task, which are really good fun. And it's all a good experience to add to your CV. Mm-hmm.